morning, church family. For today's devotional, I thought I'd read to you from one of my uh, favorite authors. His name is George Knight. You may know him. He wrote a devotional called Walking with Jesus. This one is entitled, Good, But Not Good Enough. It's taken from Matthew chapter 23, verse 25 and 26. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rapacity. You blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and of the plate, that then the outside also may be clean. Pharisees were good people, but they weren't good enough. No one can read the Gospels in even a cursory way without realizing that there was nothing that called forth the wrath of Jesus more than the religion of the scribes and the Pharisees. Why? Why didn't Jesus thunder at the prostitutes and tax collectors? Why didn't he spend more time condemning the worldly priestly class or the Sadducees or the careless common people? Why the Pharisees? Who? who were to all outward appearances the best of men. The last point is the problem. Their religion looked good on the outside. They were the shiny people who wore the right kinds of clothes, lived in the better type of neighborhoods, and did the right kind of things. Today's churches, including those churches called Adventist, would stampede to get these people onto their membership roles. Undoubtedly, many of them would even become lay or clerical leaders. Their talents would be put to good use. Yet, they had a lack. Their religion was one of show and appearance, but it didn't come from the heart. Jesus is clear on that point, and I love this point that he pens. He says, unless religion softens the heart and transforms the life from the inside out, it is worthless. Let me read that again. It's beautiful. It says, unless religion softens the heart and transforms the life from the inside out, it is worthless. Jesus saved his most violent words for these good church members because they were hypocrites unconsciously. They did all the right things, but it was their very outward goodness that was their narcotic. Their goodness lulled them into a self-complacent sleep. It left them immune to any sense of their real spiritual shortcomings and needs. They needed to be awakened to the fact that mere outward goodness, not, not goodness at all. They needed to see the depth of Christianity. So do I. Lord, give me eyes to see my true condition and ears to hear your counsel. And so, brothers and sisters, let's remember that um, today, let's remember that religion must soften from the inside out. Otherwise, our religion is worthless. Some beautiful words from George Knight. I pray that it is a blessing to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another day of life. Father God, we thank you for uh, awakening call to call us into a deeper religion, a deeper walk with you that transforms us from the inside out. Father God, I pray that you may be with each and every one of us and our families uh, in this day. I also pray, Lord, that um, we may be a clear representation of your love to those around us today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.